My fellow Pharisees have beckoned me over. I hope they wouldn't notice me. Nicodemus, come on. We want to see what this prophet is made of. I wasn't keen. I did meet him one night. He certainly challenged me, talking about being born again. I left more confused than before, but gradually his teaching, his warmth and his care and love for everyone, no matter what, told me we should be listening to him, not trying to shut him up all the time. So, I've now drifted over to the group of Pharisees and I'm wondering what they're going to say to Jesus. One thing is sure, they'll try to catch him out. I wish they wouldn't. Oh yes, here it comes. What right have you got to do the things you do to Jesus? Jesus' answer came straight away. John the baptizer, where did he get his authority? From God or from man? What a great question. Authority? I've never heard any preacher more powerful and more authoritative than John. Jesus just turned it around because they couldn't say one or the other without looking stupid. So Jesus just didn't need to justify himself to them either. Well, the Sadducees had a go. Some daft, complicated tale about a woman widowed many times over. Which husband would be hers in heaven? Daft, because the Sadducees spend their time telling us there is no risen life, no heaven. Another soft answer from Jesus, but a complete answer. Heaven will be different in any case. If you knew your scripture, you would know God is the God of the living, Moses, Abraham and so on. I could have clapped. Then one of my friends, a lawyer, gently asks what Jesus thinks is the greatest commandment. Love God with all you are and love your neighbour as yourself. A serious answer to a serious question and this time I did clap. An awkward day in an awkward week. I see my colleagues are still grumbling and put out. Why can't they see good in front of their eyes? What have they lost in their black and white world? Oh, isn't that Judas talking in the corner with a couple of the leaders? I wonder what they're up to. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I've had enough of today, enough of this week. I will just go into the quiet of the temple and pray. I sense something is happening around me and I can't quite grasp it. I just can't see where it's all going to end. Maybe we'll get through this Passover without trouble. Maybe. <laughs>